Street TV. TV. Today we have Mark from Exalate. Mark, thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Today we're going to talk about real-time uh, modelling, or what the industry is liking to call Data 2.0. But before we do that, Mark is going to explain a little bit about Exalate and what they do in the space. Mark. Absolutely. Uh, thanks. Well, uh, I'm Mark Skorsky, CEO of Exalate, and uh, Exalate is the data and analytics engine that powers smarter advertising decisions. We accumulate massive amounts of online, offline, and first-party data, and we make that data actionable uh, for uh, Trading, pop, trading platforms, exchanges, DSPs, basically all in an effort to make uh, display advertising more relevant. Okay, excellent. So let's uh, let's map this out, Mark. Sure. Let's let's map out what uh, real time modeling means and, and what data two point So just give, give yeah. us your yeah. perspective of that, please. So you know, look, I think you know, very generally, we're moving from an era of kind of dumb data yeah. to an era of smart data. Okay. And smart data is data that learns. You know, we like to say it has the triple A's, so it's uh, actionable, means it's, it can be used at scale, um, uh, it's accurate, which means it can be verified that it yeah. actually is what it is, um, and it's adaptable, and yeah. that's what we're going to talk about today. It means that the data can actually change in, in relation to what the demand is, okay. and that has, that's really what we're talking about, modeling or smart data modeling. Okay. Um, let's whiteboard this. Yeah, let's do it. So the way it looks is... Uh, uh, think of a user uh, that's coming to a uh, to a page, yeah. uh, conversion page, and on that page we have a tag, right? Um, user comes in, we drop a cookie on that user, and now they've been tagged as someone who converts. Let's say this is a credit card offer, right? Okay. Um, we now have this user, and we have them tagged, and we pull them into our data cloud. Okay. Right? So in that cloud, we now can look at all the different attributes we see about on this user. So mm -hmm. Xlate sees about half a billion um, uniques worldwide. Okay. Um, and on that specific user, on any general user, we'll see anywhere from 30 to 40 different characteristics, yeah. right? So we know this person converted on a credit card offer, um, but we also know maybe that he's male, um, that he's between the ages of 25 to 35, he um, just purchased an SUV, he uh, bought a business class ticket to Europe, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So, so we know lots of things about this user. Um, so think of it. We have them at the bottom of what we call the purchase funnel, right? Yeah. So the old classic purchase funnel. So we now have this user who converted. He's, he's, a, he's a guy from the bottom of the purchase funnel. Yeah. So what every advertiser wants, right, is to attract new customers mm -hmm. or get current customers to buy. So here's a guy who's bought. How do we attract a customer that looks just like him? Well, we know all these things around him. So rather than try to generally target, you know, the old data targeting world of saying, well, we think our audience is X, mm -hmm. um, why not build a segment around the user that just converted? Yeah. This, these are the kind of people that are converting. Yeah. So why guess? And that's what modeling allows us to do. So we pulled this person into the cloud. We found all these attributes around them. Now we build a model or a lookalike model around those same attributes, right? So we'll take maybe... 10,000 converters, right, that came and, and, and converted on this credit card offer, and we build a modeled audience of, let's say, 5 million people that have the same attributes as them. And what that allows us to do is now prospect at a much narrower funnel. So instead of looking at, you know, uh, may, you know, we think a good credit card profile are males who are employed and make a certain amount of money, we can now look at people that look just like the audience that converted in the past. Okay, right? so so how does this differentiate from the existing lookalike modeling? What's so different from this than, than what we have at the minute? Yeah, the, the way, you know, what's different about it is, is is that it learns. Okay. Right, and so the users that we see today, so let's say this is, you know, Friday at, you know, 12 p.m., are going to be different than the users that convert on a Monday at 7 p.m. The way the model can work and the way that we work with modeling is that it's a constant stream of information coming mm -hmm. in. So the lookalike model that we're building is changing every day. Okay. And the data that we're pushing out is changing. So this, this accelerated funnel of users is constantly changing. Okay. And um, in, in terms of how the technology works, I mean, can you give me a little bit some more of an insight into that? Sure. So, um, you know, the idea is is that as we, we drop this cookie and pull it into the cloud, um, we're able to look at other cookies that we have in the cloud yeah. and find those attributes around okay. the users. 
And then we go out and build this model of, of lookalikes. We actually, it's a little bit beyond lookalikes, it's, it's actalikes. We look at things like time of day, day of week, mm. you know, like as you said, um, computer system that they're accessing through lots of different factors, right? Yep. And then we score those users. So we score them in real time, yep. the other users that look like them, and then push them out through, you know, the platform that the advertiser is looking to buy on. Yep. So it could be, um, a DSP that they're buying. Yeah. And we're pushing those cookies, those scored cookies out in real time. So again, as the model changes, um, we're scoring cookies in different ways mm. and pushing them out in real time mm. so that the model's actually adapting. Something we call adaptive audience okay. intelligence. So is this, is this available at the minute? Is this technology? Yes. Like, okay. Yeah. So if you have your DSP, uh, you can tap into that. Uh, Mark, thanks very much for going through the uh, modeling process. Absolutely. And that was True Talk TV. Thank you very much.